Our next guest never really planned on taking a gap year, especially not one in his 60s. But when his life took an unexpected turn, Chris Herman decided to sell everything up and push himself completely outside his comfort zone. Takes a brave man to do that, from sleeping on the jungle floor to trying to get by in a foreign language. Chris has outlined it all in a new book, and Chris joins us live now from the top end. Chris, good morning to you. Um, it's great what you're doing, but, uh, but let's start with the beginning of why this happened. It was a personal tragedy that brought this trip on for you. So why did you think it was a good way to do what you're doing, and, and can you elaborate on what the tragedy might have been? Oh, good morning, Lucas. It's great to be with you this morning, um, uh, Peter and Jane. Um, I mean, suddenly losing uh, my wife of, uh, of 40 years, I mean, it, it, it was, uh, it, it did have a big impact on life. And, and I guess, I mean, the whole gap year, I mean, it wasn't, um, wasn't so much I used it as a, as a healing journey. But what it did have a, a major influence on was, was, I guess, when I think back, what my wife was repeatedly saying as she lay there in the final hours, I can't believe this is happening. I, I can't believe it's happening. And, and those words, you know, ring through with me still to this day. Uh, the, the message, you know, that that um, that, that life is, uh, is it can't be taken for granted. Mm -hmm. That life is a gift. That um, uh, you know, it can be taken away just as quickly. And, and I was fortunate to. You know the time we spent, you know, to um, to have that time, the best time of my life. But but I guess as a realization hit that um, uh, my life had changed and and I needed to move on. And and I I, I sort of felt the need that I needed to do something different, step outside my comfort zone to challenge myself. And gap year sound like the perfect thing. Senior gap year. So what exactly did your wife inspire you to do? And and, and how did you start? Well, I mean, we'd, we'd done travelling together, and a lot of my, uh, I guess, look back on life highlights, um, you know, was with the family. We, we'd sort of um, lived at different places overseas, and, and I guess, you know, because life had changed, I, I, I felt, well, I, you know, life had to go on, and and, um, and this was, for me, as a way of taking on that, that challenge of, uh, of doing a gap year, just something completely different. So, Chris, I mean, are you doing this for her, or are you doing it for yourself? I, I guess it's sort of a bit of a, um, in some ways, you know, I, I can still feel that support, which is, you know, whether you go with that or not, but that, that's the way I feel. But, I mean, the reality is, I mean, she's moved on and, and I had to move on. And I, and I know if it's the opposite way around, I would, I would want her to move on. Mm. And, and so that's, to me, it's a reality of life. I, I have to move on. And uh, this is, to me, just a fantastic way of... Um, kick-starting that change. We are looking at some mm. of the pictures of the places you've been and the things that you've done. So talk us through, uh, well, give us a short version of the highlights then, your favourite experiences. Uh, look, I mean, there's so many highlights. I mean, what, one, one highlight was certainly in Spain. I mean, where I ended up was right in the middle of this 2,000-year-old city. I mean, it was such a buzz. I mean, I went there, I didn't know a soul, but by the end of the, you know, the, the time I was there, I had this great little uh, social group. But interestingly, no one knew where I lived. I mean, it's the fact that they couldn't understand the way I, I pronounced the street. <laughs> but, um, I mean, the other times, uh, highlight was, was um, backpacking through Central America. It's such a liberating feeling just yeah. with a backpack, going from country to country, busing it from one to another, from starting in Panama, uh, up through Costa Rica, Nicaragua, Honduras, Guatemala, Belize, uh, Mexico, and then ending up uh, in that, that stretch around the Caribbean up into this time warp of, uh, of Cuba. And, and, and really, I guess it's those the, those those experiences. Uh, they were the highlights of actually the uh, the new and exciting places. But it was more so the interacting with people and the cultures. You know, that that was the richness of, of the whole journey of, of what the of the uh, the gap year is all about. Well, senior gap year, in my case. <laughs> well, I tell you what, uh, we here in the news business are sort of reminded on a daily basis about the fragility of life, and then it can go at any moment. And, uh, and Chris, mm. you're certainly testament to that with with what happened to your wife. But it's great that you've turned a negative into a positive, and you've now. In a book it's called my senior gap year and it is available from january 22nd so check that out uh, chris thank you so much
much for opening yeah. up this morning with us. It's um, it's remarkable what you're doing, and yeah. um, we've got the book there, I think. For us there, yeah. Okay. Yeah. For, yeah, uh, just say, uh, uh, Peter and Jane, that I, what, what I like to do is, um, I mean, one of the great experiences I had was, uh, uh, and it's in the book about, um, got involved in a charity program, and it's just completely by chance, but I like to actually donate a dollar every book sale to that uh, charity, it's about basically helping, uh, taking kids out of the um, sex trade up in northern Thailand, and um, so just uh, it was a great part of my gap it was one of those enriching experiences and it's uh, something I'd, I'd like to give back okay well chris there you go there, there, there is his book and thank you very much for joining us again this morning